Entering the right RPM into your Hawk is vital for receiving an accurate diagnosis. The RPM you enter needs to be within 20 RPM of the actual RPM of the machine. This is the process that we recommend to identify and enter the right RPM. Step 1. Take a reading from the non-drive end of the motor. Step 2. Find the nominal RPM on the motor's nameplate. Step 3. Look at the spectrum LF from the collected data to identify the peak closest to the nameplate RPM. Step 4. Use the stroboscope built into the Hawk to confirm the RPM. First, place the wireless sensor on the non-drive end of the motor and collect data. After the collection is complete, look at the motor nameplate and note the speed. In this example, it is 1765 RPM. Review the data that was just collected. Select the Spectrum LF. Touch the C icon to view the collected spectrum. Touch one of the three spectra and then select Full Screen. Remembering the speed on the nameplate, touch the peak closest to that speed. Next, select Settings. And then select Stroboscope. The flash speed of the stroboscope will be automatically set at the frequency selected from the spectrum. Use the strobe to verify the operational frequency. If the selected speed is within 20 RPM, the shaft will be frozen or rotating very slowly. Press the Save button on the top right or left corner of the screen. Press Return to continue your diagnosis. If you have selected the proper RPM, you will see the following screen. If you see a screen that reads, Rotation Speed Not Correct, it's not possible to display Level 2 of Diagnosis, then you have not entered a workable RPM and will not receive a proper automatic diagnosis. Make sure you are following the steps in this video and retry entering the correct RPM.